Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and we're back with another Let's Guide for Disgaea 5. This one is going to be probably the meatiest one that I've done so far because it's uh, about the skill shop, skills, and evil teas, and there's a lot to dive into. So hopefully, I don't miss anything, and hopefully, I can get it all in one run. So let's go ahead and start with showing you guys when you Why unlock you like go, dude? the. Yes, I know I need more information. When you unlock the skill shop is after you've beat Sterile Atrium, or when you've got... What's his name in your party? Red Magnus. Red Magnus is in your party. And then the skill shop is going to be down here. Me? And you can strength the skills... Learn evil teas and convert evil teas. But before we do any of that, I wanted to kind of show you how to build up skills, like which most of you guys probably already know, but just in case, I want to give a brief overview of this. So we're just going to go to the first area, and I just hired a new mage for this purpose. I read it. I'm going to take him out, move him a little closer. Hopefully, he doesn't get attacked by everybody here because he might die because he's weak. And then I'm going to cast Ice. Now what I want you to notice here is the level is 1, the SP use is 9. So we're going to use Ice, we're going to go here, we're going to execute. No, dude. And then after we execute, uh, we can click on him, go back to status. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, Ice. You can see just from that one, he got 100 experience into the Ice skill itself. Alright, so now let's hope that he doesn't die and turn. What's up, dude? As expected. Alright, so another thing I want to pay attention to is the range. The range is one right now. If you look over on the right over there, it is one. And the height is for going up or down on the map uh, for things that are higher or lower than you. Alright, but let's go ahead and hopefully finish this guy off and get level 2 in ice. No! There we go, skill up, which is good. So now we're going to go over here. And if we look at the skill, you can see it's now level 2. The SP that it needs went down from 9 to 6. The range is still 1. All right, so just to be safe, I don't like to I'm risk doing this. my characters if I don't have to. Get Execute. Better. Besides, might as well get her some skill ups as we go. All right, we're going to end turn. As expected. All right, we're going to move Frost, who's got now 2 SP. You know, that kind of explains what I wanted to explain here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... We'll take Nisa out, and we'll just try to finish these guys off as quickly as possible. So that we can get out of the map. So the main thing that I wanted to show here was that by using the skills, you improve the skills by lowering the SP, and increasing the damage even though damage is more done by stats but all right so I'm gonna go over here Let's gonna fix you up get treated I am not gonna save this this is all just for this purpose I did a new save on this game so I would recommend saving before you did it you went in and did anything and maybe even on a separate save so you don't overwrite anything you might want to go back to just in case you do something you don't want to do. Alright, so we're going to go to Strength and Skill. We're going to go to Metallia. And the reason why I'm using Metallia is because she has 293 mana where my other characters don't really have... My other casters don't have that much. So we'll go ahead and show you a casting skill and what it means to strengthen it. So there's two ways of strengthening. 
you can increase the range, which will give it more um, tiles that it can attack in different ways. And as you go up, you don't convert the old one. So like this one with two dots that are adjacent to each other, I get that, but I also, if I go to level three, I get the three that are neck, you know, up and down and keep the ones that are, the two that are adjacent for level two. And you get different ways of attacking all the way up to level nine. So you can kind of see how that works. Power, on the other hand, will take the power up. See, right now uh, it is an F for Metallia, fire is. I can make it an F plus, but it's going to take my SP usage from 3 to 15 if I do that. I hope that makes sense. So you can increase the range, which does not increase the SP that it costs to cast it. The power, on the other hand, does increase the SP that it requires to cast the, the skill. Now, also, if you look here, it'll tell you on the top how much mana it will take to enhance this. So I can go here and enhance that. And then if I go again, I can also go back and enhance the power. I don't have enough to enhance the level 3 because it takes 320. But I could enhance to an F plus on this skill and then it would up... damage that it does and also require more SP to use. So now if I... It doesn't show you the... Alright, well... Let me show you uh, what you can do with a non spell type skill so you can see that as well. Strength and skill. So we go to Nisa these are all skills based off of her weapon. So these are based off of her pistol. So all we can do is enhance or weaken. Now what happens if you enhance is what we described before. It takes the power up, increases the SP that it requires to cast it. If you want to undo that, you can come over here and weaken it. This costs zero mana right now. I think if I went out though, all right, let's exit out of here, go back Me? in. All right, so weaken is still gonna make it less. You do not get the mana that you spent to increase Me? it back though. So keep that in mind. All right, so that is Skills in a nutshell, there are ways to learn skills. You can get scrolls for characters that if you want, say, Killia to start casting ice, for instance, you can give him a scroll to learn that. Or there are subclasses that you can take on that will unlock things as well. You can always switch the weapon you're using. So right now, Killia is using fist weapons. Look at my equipment. He's using a fist weapon. I have the spear as a secondary just for giggles, I guess. But if I wanted to build up a different set of skills, see these are all skills that you get when you build up your fist weapon. If I wanted to say get blade rush, I would have to switch to a sword and swing that attack normally on a bunch of enemies until I unlocked the next skill up, which I think the first skill for a sword is Blade Rush. I'm not 100% positive, but I think that is how that works. I just got these skills with Kilia because I just started building them up after unlocking all the DLC characters, so not a lot there for him. Alright, so let's go back. And let's go over the basics of evil tees. Uh, and actually to do that, I want my mana back. So let's go ahead and go to save, load, go to the one prior to this. All right, go back, make sure I got, yep, oh wait. 
Mm, doesn't show my mana on this. Welcome. All right, let's go here. Oh wait, I went to the wrong one. Ah! Me? All right, so go here, and we're gonna learn evil teas. You can see that I got my mana back. I'm actually gonna go to an older save than this one, but kind of gives you an idea. All right, evil teas are what you can consider passive. So let me go back and let's go to characters, let's go to Nisa, and let's go to Evil T. You can see that she has a unique one, Nippon Ichi. And it increases stats by every 10 hours of Disgaea 5 played times 1%. So if I wanted to build her up to her fullest, I would just leave Disgaea running all day, every day. But she also has some empty slots for other... Evil Tees. So let's go take a look at what we can Me? get for her. So we're going to go learn Evil Tees. We're going to go Nisa. Alright, so I usually don't use these ones very much unless there's an actual world that I need to beat and this is uh, something that will make it a lot easier. These are skills that make it where you can't be poisoned, can't be paralyzed, can't be charmed, that type of thing. Vaccine cha uh, decreases the chance for affliction by of all ail ailments by 50%. Not a bad skill, not something I would go with early on, maybe later, once you get to the higher up stuff. So then you can kind of see the ones that she can't get because she doesn't have enough mana to get them. But you, if you want to increase fire damage... Wind damage, cold damage, star damage. Bad trip, 10% chance to inflict poison, sleep, or paralysis when attacking normally. So if you had somebody that you just attack normally with, that might not be a bad one. Not something I really go with for most of these guys. Uh, increased healing effects, not bad for a healer. These are the ones I usually go with early on, though. These ones with the plants, because they increase your growth early on. And I wouldn't really do EXP... Speed and these other ones are not bad though. Um, mana lover, you could do that when you if you need to farm mana. Class proficiency, if you really wanted to build that up, get your ranks up in your class, you could do that. But uh, the ones that I usually use are either hit point growth early on or SP SP growth. Because those are the two that I usually end up wanting to have more of. But you can go with any of these that you want. Any of these that you, if you want to have like a glass cannon, you want to up your attack, you could do that. All right, so gear maintenance. You can kind of see what these are. She uses gun, so we can do a weapon mastery and make it a C. So not really something that I really would go for. I'd rather just use the skill and build it up that way. All right, so this one is actually not bad. If she becomes the very last unit of force, increase stats by 100%. So if you have a character you want to put out on its own, that might not be bad. Absolute Justice, you can kind of read what these do. They're when hit points under 25%. But for the purpose of this one, I am going to go. I got 384. Can't do everything I'd like to do, so... Since she uses a gun, I'm going to go ahead and go attack. And my SP for her is pretty decent right now. Alright, so that's how you buy the Evil Tea. Then you go into the character, go to Evil Tea, you go to the open slot. It'll show you all the ones you can choose from. You add it, you're done. That's all you, that's all you need to do to, to get it in here and get the, the passive from it. Later on... You will be able to unlock, this is a unique equipment slot. So later on after you beat the game, you can pass a bill through the assembly here to give you one more unique Evil T slot. You can also get Evil T slots by... Taking a class and maxing it out all the stars to six and then you can unlock the 
evil tea for this one to be used in other characters on other characters if that makes sense all right am i missing anything is the question i have right now convert evil teas so this will take any ones that you have bought and are not using and refund some mana for them it's not something i really do i just collect them and keep them and don't worry about them too much all right so did i miss anything i mentioned that you could get skills from scrolls you could do subclasses and do that i'll go over the subclasses later in another video i got a lot of other videos to make for this game this because there's a lot let's see what else I think that's pretty much it for skills in the skill shop. I don't me? think there's anything I missed. If I did and you know about it, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll get the information there. You can always go to read explanations if you really wanted to know. Kind of goes over what I just went over that, you know, everything. Restoring evil tees. Oh, that's not really restoring, it's converting. So, there you have it. That is what uh, the basics are, at least for skills. Um, there is a lot more to it. There's a lot more skills than just the active skills. Which, I don't know if they show them here. Yeah, they don't really show them here. Oh, there they are. Counter, throw, critical, all those. Uh, well, I guess counter is not really a skill. I, I consider it a skill because you can build it up if you know what you're doing. I guess that's something I can do in another video. I will also go over tower skills in, in, in its own video once I get enough footage to to do that or the right characters built up to do that so uh, that'll be another video all right so I know that uh, it's kind of rambling in this one hopefully I got the information you guys needed if it's not concise enough and you guys want more let me know and I will try to make it more concise till next video though take care bye bye now static buzz out oh, I always worry about forgetting missing stuff in this game Always worry about missing stuff. Bam, bam, bam.